Hello everybody, welcome back to my Let's Play here. <coughs> Apparently F9 resets the game, so I probably had better not do that anymore. So welcome back to A Golden Wake. <laughs> Note to self what F9 does. Alrighty, so when we left off we had just arrived in Florida, and we have gotten a room and we still have many things to do at looking at this new real estate. So, we're gonna head out. Is there keys? Oh, What if I wanted some keys? Besides the key I already have. There's Laura Bow again. <laughs> I know it's not Laura Bow. I just like to believe that it could be. So, we can pretend. What is this place again? This is the records office, okay. So let's see what we have. We just have the street. Do we have anything else? No. Ooh, there we go. We have another place to go. Man, he he jaunt. <laughs> doot, 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 doot. <laughs> it's almost like Prince Alexander when you put his speed up all the way. Oh no! Oh, it, no bro. I actually clicked the look button, but okay. We have a big sign. The billboard reads. Coral Gables, Miami's master suburb. See it if you would like to see Miami at its best. Sweet. Ooh, it's a stocks and bonds office. It appears to be a stocks and bonds office. You briefly remember all of the hubbub about war bonds a few years ago, and you find yourself glad that is over <laughs> for now. You'll still be alive when the next time that happens. The Coral Gables sales office has established itself in this building. It appears to be constructed from some kind of porous stone, one that you are unfamiliar with. We need to go in here, so let's go ahead and do so. Oh, we got some folks in here, but men. The metal filing cabinet contains a wide array of drawers. This is presumably where most, if not all, the records, if not all, the records for the budding Coral Gables development are being kept. The painting shows a nice looking stone archway. The plaque underneath identifies it as the soon to be constructed, I think it's the Alambro entrance. Alo I can't tell if that's an O or an A. I think it's an O. So Al Alambro, I guess the Alambro. So if I got that wrong, I do apologize. The painting shows a large building which appears to house shops. There is no plaque identifying it, but it must be a proposed structure which has not yet been built. Hi, men. You'd rather not speak to them. They are currently the competition, after all. Oh, but let's talk to the secretary. Pardon me, miss. I'm terribly sorry, sir, but I'm just too busy for you right now. Uh, Perhaps you could come back another time? Ma'am. Another time? I've just come all the way from New York. Surely there's something a lovely young lady like you can do to help out a man in need? Look, Buster. <laughs> she ain't taking your like crap. I, said, I haven't got time for you at this moment. What seems to be the trouble? Well, not that you, you care, existing. but I need to get these letters written. And seeing as the weekly shipment of supplies has been delayed, I'm forced to do them by hand. Oh, we're doing some stenog. Your job. I can appreciate that. I am. Yes. Actually, did Mainly thoroughly modern Millie. Now, unless you want to come back here Wait and pick up a pen, I really need to get back to my work. A tempting offer, but I'll have to decline. I'll be back later. Um, I did thoroughly modern Millie with my students this past year, and I'm a big fan of this era. So we do have typewriter ribbon, so she obviously needs is this anything. Standard typewriter takes up the right side. Okay, it doesn't. Pardon me, miss. I'm terribly sorry, sir, but I'm just perhaps you could another time. Okay, well that didn't, didn't maybe it's because I looked at something else wrong. Pardon me, miss. Would this typewriter ribbon be go. of any use to you? It certainly would. Mine wore out yesterday, and I ordered a replacement, but it hasn't come in yet. Thank you, sir. I greatly appreciate it. This will cut my work time by half, at least. My pleasure. Happy to help. I don't know how many of my viewers actually have used typewriters in the past. Uh, I am old enough to have used them, and they're a pain in the butt. I mean, I am 30, turned 35 last month, 
and we had a typewriter. I mean, we, I, you know, we had a Tandy 1000 that, but we didn't have word processor on them that were very useful. So I used to type a lot of letters before email to people on typewriters. Uh, I never had to do any reports. Uh, by the time I had to start doing reports, which was in middle school, you know, we already had internet and good, decent computers. So head had changed by that point. Pardon me, miss. What may I do for you, sir? I'd like to see Mr. George Merrick. Take a number. Mr. Merrick is in very high demand. <laughs> I'm sure he is. I'm afraid he's not currently seeing walk-ins. What about anything else? Any we just need a little bit of help, Information maybe. on the Coral Gables development? None I'm allowed to divulge, sir. Can I have an appointment, Would please? it be possible to make an appointment to see Mr. Merrick? Certainly. Let me see. Our next available appointment is... Next October. Oh, God! That's preposterous. Well, poop. Mr. Merrick is a very busy man. I think you've made that quite clear. Come now. I helped you out with your typewriter. Now you're just gonna hi-hat me? I don't know how things work down here, but where I'm from, one good turn usually deserves another. Okay, okay, keep your shirt on. I'll level with you. I'm not going to be able to get you an appointment, but I can tell you that Mr. Merrick keeps an eye out for fresh talent. If you can manage to do something to impress him, he may see you without an appointment. I see. What would you suggest? Well, I'm not sure, but you might be able to get something done at today's land auction. Okay, what about this land auction? A land auction, you say? Where and when? It's set to start this afternoon, around 2 o'clock. You'll find it at the corner of Granada Avenue and Coral Way. Fantastic. I'll head over there right away. Good luck. I'll let you get back to your work. Thank you, sir. Awesome. So we actually just found out... Oop, sorry, kitty. I just realized I had a little fan on that I have in here just to keep it. This room, <coughs> the new room I'm recording in, very nice, but it gets a little hot where there's a big window in here, but uh, I forgot that that was on, so hopefully that did not ruin the first half of this video. I don't think it will, but you'll probably notice a little bit less of a fall, but I do apologize for that if it bothered anybody. Okay, so we do have this land auction. Come on, folks, it's a beautiful day to buy some land. I feel like saving. <laughs> okay. So we have a smaller crowd. There seems to be a smaller crowd of people separate from the main group. They look particularly undecided. You scan the fo- <laughs> the, <laughs> the- not said the focuses. The faces of the crowd and see a mixture of excitement and indecisiveness. This man stands apart from the crowd and looks somewhat indecisive. Hmm. Let's see here. Any bids for two? Oh, that's right. That 200. is. I was like, "Where's Doc Dammers? He's the guy doing it." Hey, buddy. Well, well. Fancy seeing you here. Thanks. What brings you to my humble little Banks. land auction? What are I'm you doing? I'm Mr. Merrick, but it's proving a bit more difficult than I'd anticipated. Don't say old Doc didn't warn you, son. Oh, you warned anyway, me, all right. I'd love to chat, but I'm a bit tied up at the moment. <laughs> are you Is now? there anything I can do to help? Actually, there is. See those two sets of stragglers over there, separate from the crowd? I do. They're all about a hair's breadth away from buying, but I just can't get them to budge. Take your pick. If you can convince either set to buy some houses, I just might put in a good word for you back at the sales office. The hmm. fellow by himself there seems like he won't take too much effort to convince. If you want a real challenge, you might try the crowd of five there. I'll see what I can do. boy. Oh, one more thing before you get started. I know you've got experience in this business, but I want to talk to you about seller intuition. From time to time, you might find yourself needing to persuade someone. You know as well as I do that that's all about finding a person's weakness and bending it to your whim. Yes, it when is. When you're talking to them, you can use seller intuition to your advantage. It'll give you a clearer read on people and let you figure out what you should play to in order to get them to see things your way. But enough yammering from me. Go and do what you have to do. So apparently it will be easier to deal with him. So before we do that, let's try the small crowd. Taking a deep breath, you face the small crowd and prepare to deliver your best sales pitch. This is a moment you've been waiting for. Well, let's, uh, let's introduce By ourselves. By the way, my name is Alfred Banks. You can call me Alfie if you like. Okay, we're Sorry losing them, so let's not do that. That's what saving and loading's for. Uh, 
All right. Let's break the ice. What I wouldn't give to live in this tropical paradise. How about you folks? Oh, they seem to be... Okay, so let's, uh... Let's tell a story. I'd love to tell you about an apartment I sold to a man who ended up finding a fortune in gold hidden in the walls. You regale the crowd with your story. They're not receptive. Sorry to... Okay, well that didn't work. So let's try... We know that introducing Alpha ourselves is bad, even though I just did it. Sorry to wait. Because I clicked the button at the wrong time, because I'm a doofus. Okay, so, break the I ice. Don't know about you. Let's introduce ourselves. Alfred Banks is the name, and real estate is my game. You can call me Alfie if you like. The crowd's interest seems to be growing. Nice job so far. Okay, so... Let's uh, tell a story. Let me tell you all the story of the time I sold a two-story house to a man who had no legs. Oh. Let's go in for the kill. All right then, folks. How about we make some sales? Oh. They're ready to hear our pitch. Oh, gosh. Your goal is to sell each prospective buyer a house. Clicking on each house will provide a description of its features. Clicking on each buyer's portrait will give a description of them or what they're looking for. You must determine which house is the best match for each buyer. Select the plaque with their name on it and place it in the space beneath each house. Okay. You want some place to stretch your legs. Okay. <clears throat> Large single family built on four acre property, which is ripe for additional development. House can be expanded on or any number of large trees can be planted in a huge yard. See. You strike up a conversation with Mr. Roberts and find that he hails from up north as well. But I tell you one thing, the biggest draw of moving down here is finally been able to get away from the tiny apartment I had back home. You can hear the neighbors sneezing. So he's wanting kind of a big place. So he wouldn't want a small Okay, he Let's see. Large spacious single story home. Any other houses around, area is not particularly well lit. Okay, this quarry from which the rock was tracted was cemented. So... I would say... Oh, underneath. Okay. And then... Mr. Teal. Mr. Teal is a portly gentleman who is having a hard time dealing with the heat of the day. My wife ready to move down here for my health. He tells you, I suppose I could do with some exercise, but this sun is brutal. I can't stay out in it too long. Some place where I can get fit indoors would be ideal. Especially since I hate water. Well, he wouldn't want the pool. Let's see. House, small, single story. Okay, church and shops. It can be... Place to stretch your legs. Two story house. Right. We'll come back to him. After speaking to Miss Grace for five minutes, you are taken aback by her generosity. Despite her clearly apparent wealth, I don't care what house I end up buying, really. My main concern is being able to get involved with the community, and this development seems ready for my help. Okay, so we probably want the one that's... Yeah, she definitely wants that. Okay. So, now we got Smith. Mr. Smith is a cheerful young man, but is rather shabbily dressed and seems to be covered with animal hair. There are so many options to consider, but overall, I just want to find some place that suits me and my Lucy. Okay. Let's see here. What do you say? Mr. Jones is very jolly and seems incredibly active. I just came from a golf tournament. This morning, in a few hours, I have a tennis lesson. There's nothing I love more than being outdoors in this fantastic weather. But you probably want the house with the pool. Okay, and then, let's see. Small two, small. And that's the big one. Let's see here. So he would probably want the bigger, the bigger house. Let's 
So let's try this. What did Smith want? Let's see. We'll see what happens. Okay, well that wasn't right, so... Let's try that. Okay! A pleasure doing business with you folks. That was I really you fun! Enjoy your new homes. Nice work. There's nothing you enjoy more than a satisfied customer, and to have five at once is even better. Nice job over there, Banks. You got a real knack for this business. Now go get some rest, would you? You don't want to overwork yourself first day here, after all. Now I will tell you, you could have bribed them if uh, the the one guy by himself if you failed to make this work. I'm going to save as soon as we get in there. <laughs> Mr. Banks, I have a message for you when you get a chance. You have a message for me. Really? Excuse me. How may I help you, sir? Well, you just told me that you had a message for me. You said you had a message for me. But yes, sir. From George Merrick at the Coral Gables sales office. He's asking that you was to stop by at your earliest convenience. Fantastic. Of course, we Thank need to get five people to buy stuff, like, right in a row there, so... That would be one reason. Okay, well, let's head back over there. <laughs> Very quickly. We're a dum 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 Alright. Hi, Miss Typewriter Lady. We're gonna have an appointment Poor now. Miss. What may I do for you, sir? Uh, I have an appointment. I got a message from Mr. Merrick asking me to see him. Oh, yes, he's expecting you, Mr. Banks. Thank Go you, because you're on the one that door told door. me how to get I'll this let done. You get back to your work. Thank you, sir. Oh, that's. I like that. Oh, crap, sorry. Good afternoon, Mr. Merrick. I'm Alfred Banks. You wanted to see me? Ah, yes, of course, Mr. Banks. Please come in. Make yourself at home. I shall. Oh, he had a hat rack. Please, have a seat. Well, let's see here. Merrick has a plain wooden hat stand in the corner. Oop, wait. You know, let's save so we don't, like, you know, blow it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Patio. Looking out the glass windows and door, you see a lovely little patio. Mr. Merrick is lucky to be able to have a cozy little spot to take his mind off of things. It, there appears to be several brochures and pamphlets advertising real estate around the city. Okay, they must serve some motivational purpose for Mr. Merrick. The water cooler must certainly come in handy on sunny days in an office that's got so many windows. The illustration seems to depict a green landscape with a river or a channel of water. Perhaps this is one of Mr. Merrick's future developments. Is he going to put Disney Way in there? I'm oh, just kidding, that's long ago. But let's go ahead and talk to Mr. Merrick. Uh, let's introduce ourselves. It really is a pleasure to finally meet you, Mr. Merrick. Like I said, my name is Alfred Banks, and... I know who you are, Mr. Banks. I was well aware of your father's work up north. It seems apparent that you are eagerly following in his footsteps. You've gotten my attention. Now let's see how serious you really are. I see great potential in you, but a good sales agent needs more than just talent. He needs ability and know-how. I've got those in spades. You're certainly confident, I'll give you that. Don't be an in ass. In any case, I have a few small setbacks which I need to deal with, and I think they would serve as an excellent proving ground for you. Proving ground? Think of it as an extended job interview. Oh great, I'm we can still fail. What do you need? I can give you more details as you need them, but currently I'm faced with three concerns. The first is a man living on a prime piece of land who is refusing to sell. The second is my need for quality advertising. And the third is getting back some stolen design plans. Uh, let's ask about all three. What's the story with the holdout? There's a stretch of land which is of great interest to me in the area of Anastasia Avenue. Currently, the land is owned by an individual who has no interest in selling it. He's built himself a home there and understandably wants to keep it. Unfortunately, business is business, and I need that land to complete a very important project. I need you to convince the gentleman to sell. Okay. What about your need for publicity? Any project, no matter how good it is, is doomed to fail if nobody knows about it. I've managed to secure some decent advertising, but I feel we need something more. The story of Coral Gables needs to make headlines. I'd like you to head over to the Miami Herald building and see if you can befriend a reporter or two. Having a okay, journalist that be in doable. our would do wonders for our advertising. Okay, so we got to get a, jur a journalist on our side. What about your design plans? 
I regret to say that a set of design plans were stolen from my office a few weeks ago by a man claiming to want a job interview. In reality, he was a spy, sent from my competitor Oren Riley's real estate company. Riley still has my plans, but two can play his game. Since you're a fresh face in town, I need you to infiltrate his company and take back the plans. Ooh, I'll stealthy. I'll my secretary set up an interview for you later today. And here, take this set of dummy plans and leave it in place of the real ones so Riley doesn't get suspicious. Infiltrate his company? What will that entail exactly? My guess is that Riley will have the plans stored away in his office oh, someplace. Oh, yeah, espionage. do a bit of searching. Are you comfortable with that? I know it's asking for quite a bit. I think so, sir. I'll do as much as I can within legal means. Of course. I'm not asking you to commit any crimes. After all, you're just taking back something that was already stolen. Think of it as a repossession. <laughs> repossession! I'll just get to it then. I wish you the best of luck. Although, you seem the type who makes his own luck. I have a feeling I can expect great things from you. Okay, I... <laughs> had a phone call sorry about that uh <laughs> kind of got off i didn't want to stop it and do all sorts of things so you'll probably notice a cut so we have to head out of here you know we were given three things we can do the first one we're going to look at is kind of the guy that is holding out on him a little bit so we'll head back to the map so we have the herald Real Estate and Anastasia Avenue, which is where we're going to go first. Wow, he has a really nice house. I'm incredibly jealous. The house is a very nice two-story affair, constructed in a Met uh, Mediterranean style, which seems to be fairly consistent with the style of Coral, G Coral Gables that you've been able to observe so far. I would love to have a house like this. Of course, I'd love to live in, well, not really, Myrtle Beach, maybe. Yes, may I help North you? Myrtle. May I help you? Good day to you, sir. My name is Alfred Banks, and whatever it is you're selling, uh, I'm not interested. I'm not really selling. Ah, but I'm selling. not here to sell you anything. In fact, quite the contrary. Oh, I see. Merrick sent you, didn't sure he? Sure did. I, well, yes, he did. Look, you can go back and tell him exactly what I told all the others. Nothing doing. I bought this land before he got his little vision, and I intend to keep it. I tried appeasing him by building my house to match his Mediterranean style, but apparently even that wasn't good enough. I did everything by the book and filed all the proper paperwork. You tell Merrick he'll get me off this land when I'm no longer drawing bread. Oh my. Good day to you, sir. Sir? S sir? Hello? You again? What do you want? I just want to pester you. Sir, I really just want to have a chat. I know your game. You vipers are just trying to trick me, and before <laughs> I know flam. it, you'll be flim-flamming me into signing some paper handing over my land. Uh, yes, well, probably, that's what we would be doing. It. I've worked too hard on this house to just let it go. The paperwork alone was a nightmare and a half. Nothing you can say will convince me to sell my land. Nothing. Well, okay. Good day to you, sir. But they did give us a hint about the paperwork. So let's go back. Let's go to the records. I love this music. Hello, sir. Let me know if I can be of assistance. Let's look at the portrait. The portrait is of a distinguished looking older gentleman. The plaque at the bottom identifies him as H.M. Flagler. Oh, rules and regulations. A large list of rules and regulations is hanging on the wall in a glass frame. You begin to read them over quickly, but you lose interest. You are never very tolerant of bureaucracy. Uh, who is? The shelves contain several volumes of records, but you get the feeling this is merely the tip of the iceberg. The sign identifies this place as the Hall of Records. Let's look at the records clerk. All of records clerk is a shifty looking man, but hopefully he's good at his job. Excuse me, what can I do for you? I need to look at records. What sort of records do you keep in this office? All kinds. Marriage licenses, death certificates, property, property titles. titles you name it. How far back do they go? Not too far back. 30 years or so. The city wasn't officially incorporated until 1896, uh -huh. but I have some records going back to 1891. Ooh. You let me know if there's anything you need to look up. I do. Could I look something up? Of course. What do you need? There's a house at 1251 Anastasia Avenue that I need some information on. Of course. Let me go have a look. 
Yes, here we are. Belongs to one Ernest Mathers. Built it himself six months ago. Uh-huh, that's what we're Might talking about. Might I have a copy of the document? What's your business with it? I'm working with Mr. George Merrick of the Coral Gables Project, and it's of utmost importance to his acquisition of the land. All right. You can take <laughs> All right. this copy. I'll help you take this man off of his home. Have you always lived in Miami? Nah. I moved down here from Philly after the war. Nice place. Can't beat the climate, that's for sure. Thank you for yeah, your if help. You're from Philly, Anytime. that probably is a differently, <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely a different climate. One day, my my language will increase in ability, but today is not that day. Didn't really mean to go this way, but we can get to the map from here, so it's okay. So we'll go back to talk to Mr. Man here. Before we do that, let's see. There's you take a look through the record for the 1251 Anastasia House and see that it was constructed six months ago by Ernest Mothers, or Mathers. According to this, he had a, cura uh, a curacy inspection performed. Looking further, you see that there were no permits pulled for any of the construction work done. Mathers may have tried to appease Merrick, but it seems he did so in a very half-assed fashion. Oh... You again? What do you want? I have, uh, this thing here. Mr. Mathers, I've just been to the Hall of Records downtown, and I pulled up a copy of your house record. Yes? And? It seems you had a property inspection done when you completed the house, but it was very basic. Uh -huh, yeah. Furthermore, you didn't pull any construction permits. I didn't need to. I haven't done any exterior work. Nevertheless, I'm afraid I'll need to perform an inspection of your home just as a matter of record. On what authority? Look, you can either let me come in and do a brief home inspection, or I can report you to the county, and you can deal with whatever fine or punishment they see fit to dispense. Oh, snap. Ah, fine. Come in. Throw in the shade. I don't know what you expect to find, though. Well, we have to look for things. <laughs> Search the room for the violations listed at the bottom. Click on the spot where you think you have found one. If you are correct, the area will be marked with a red circle, and the items will disappear from the list. Continue until all have been found. Well, you got something right there. Your floor tiles are severely cracked here. Do you regularly have elephants as house guests? <laughs> no. I mean, my mother-in-law hasn't seen the new house yet. Oh, fat joke. That was a joke. I'm sure it was. You got stuff over there. These baseboards look like they were installed during the Roosevelt administration. No, no, they're supposed to look like that. It's the style, makes them seem classic. Uh-huh. I don't believe that. Uh, your bricks over there. Your fireplace seems to be letting go of some of its tiles. Oh, yes. I've been meaning to fix those. Uh-huh. Sure you have. Uh, you got some water? What a mess. You clearly have a problem with a water leak. And I've called the plumber, but he's yet to get back to me. And uh, you got some issues here. Quite a nasty build-up of mold you have here. Uh, my wife told me she'd clean it up. Yeah, well, th that's disgusting. This wall shows clear signs of water damage. You probably have a cracked pipe somewhere back there. Oh, I suppose that would explain it. <laughs> Your house sucks. Nice gazebo. I hope you know you need to have a permit to have one of those. It was a wedding gift from my sister. How was I meant to know? Ignorance of rules is no excuse, Womp Mr. Womp, Mathers. illegal gazebo. And un- oh, well, there you go. Uneven, Uneven rafters. rafters are quite the hazard. This whole roof could come tumbling down on you. <laughs> you would Haven't be dead. Haven't any problems so far. You seem to have several problems in this home. Are you sure you performed a thorough inspection? Well, yes. Yeah, I'm sure I did. I see. And who was it that performed this inspection exactly? Why, it was uh, a man. <laughs> yes, a man from the a city. A man. And did you happen to get this man's name? Well, no, I, uh, I wasn't aware of... You didn't really have an inspection performed, did you? No. I paid someone to say they had done one on the public record. You won't tell anyone, will you? You're in quite a state here, Mr. Mathers. Not only did you build this house without the proper permits, but you also put fraudulent information on your report. This doesn't look good any way you cut it. Please, I, I have money. How much to get you to look the other way? I'm afraid my silence can't be bought. Mr. Oh, Mathers. you're not taking a bribe. You might be able to get yourself out of this jam if you sell your house and land to Mr. Merrick. You could get a better place so with the money. this is what it's come to. 
I see how it is. You come in here, play in the White Knight, but you're no better than any of the rest of them. I did what I had to do to keep my land, but I suppose that was all for naught. Fine. I'll call up Mr. Merrick and tell him he's won. I hope you can live with yourself, you snake. I'm sure I'll manage. Have a nice afternoon, sir. You're gonna get a lot of money, I'm sure. So, what we're gonna do the next episode is... Oh, wow, this does look like Laura Bow. Quite an operation they've got going on in here. Hello, sir. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Wow, okay, so we'll start out here in the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed. I know I'm really liking it. I don't want to load. I want to save. So, stay tuned for the next part, and thanks for watching. Bye now.